Hey guys, this is Josh from Muncie Outdoors. A uh, little bit different setting, maybe than what you've, if you've watched any of our videos, uh, we're either in the truck or outside, out in the mountains, usually at night. So I know it's a little bit different setting, but uh, I want you to take this uh, opportunity just to tell the ones who have watched and subscribed to our, to our videos and channel. That was not even our intention. We didn't expect people to, uh, to, to watch it the way people have, and, uh, and we, we appreciate we appreciate that. We really do. Uh, but I, just to tell a little bit about myself, uh, not only am I a coon hunter, you all have seen on my videos, I'm also a, a father. I got two boys, uh, married to, to my w beautiful wife for 16 years now. So uh, uh, I've, been, I've been blessed. And, uh, and I've, been, I've been so blessed and uh, I, I'm a minister. I'm a pastor, uh, pastor of a church here in, uh, in, in Wayne County in West Virginia. That's where, my, where the pa church I pastor is. Uh, and I've been, anytime God gives me a platform, anytime I, I'm provided with a platform, uh, I want to I wanna use, take, I wanna use the opportunity I have the platform that I have that I've been given to, uh, to to talk about God for just a minute. This is not going to take just a few minutes, and then we'll get into the to the hunting portion of the video. Uh, hopefully, this is more impressive than that's going to be. Um, if you just want to watch this and turn it off, that's okay. I completely understand. Uh, but some things have been on my mind. You'll see at the beginning at the beginning of this video, uh, we we made a logo, just a Muncie Outdoor logo, and uh, at the bottom of it. Uh, I put this little phrase, so always looking up. Um, coon hunters will be able to relate to that. And I, and I know that, I'm a, I am obviously a coon hunter. Uh, you're gonna be able to relate to always looking up and, and having confidence in your dog that when he barks and says there's something up that tree, that you're gonna be looking. So we can we can kind of relate to that. But as a Christian, uh, this, this that had a, it had a twofold meaning for me personally. Uh, because I look, I look at, uh, at the world right now, I look at this pandemic, I look at the COVID stuff that's going on, everything, all the division and everything that's kind of going on in the country right now and in the world right now, everything that's going on. Uh, and, and it's easy for us to lose focus. I know not everybody watching this channel is going to be a Christian. And you're not going to want to listen to all this. And people may even unsubscribe because they see me doing this on here. Uh, and that's okay too. That, that's okay too. Uh, but I have to use the platform God gives me. To, to, to glorify him and, and I'm going to do that on uh, on some occasions uh, so the ones who do stick with me I appreciate that and I hope you get something more out of this than what you ever get out of the coon hunting portion of our of our videos uh, but when I think about always looking up to me it's a uh, it's it's a it's a call to be ready to be prepared uh, because everything we do here right now, it's temporary. This house that I live in, the truck that I drive hunting, uh, everything everything we do here is, is temporary. Uh, but there is an eternity. We're going to spend eternity somewhere. Uh, not everybody's going to believe this. Not everybody. Not everybody is going to believe this. But uh, according to what the Word of God says, that and I firmly believe what the Word of God says, and will stand upon it uh, without wavering. Uh, as good as good as I can, that this is this is temporary. The word of God is going to last forever. What this word says is going to last forever. This book itself may be destroyed, but the words that are that are written in our hearts, the words that that Jesus Christ, when it said in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and that word was made flesh. And in John one and fourteen, that word was made flesh, and He dwelt among us. And he's talking about Jesus is that word, and He's going to endure forever. These bodies are temporary. These bodies are temporary, but what's inside of us, the soul and spirit, when Jesus breathed that breath and breathed that soul, living soul, into, into, that, into that lifeless form that he had created out of the dust of the earth, then, and, he, and man became a, a living soul, that portion of that man is going to live forever. You're going to live, uh, you're going, we're, going to be, we're going to have new bodies. I believe that you're either going to spend eternity in heaven or you're going to sit, spend it in hell. And, and I firmly, I firmly believe this, and that's why us as Christians, it's important for us to keep our focus when all these distractions are going on around the world, going on in the world. It's we need to keep our focus. We need to always be looking up. That's where our focus needs to be on Him, not on ourselves and everything else going on in the world. But one thing, when we see everything going on in the world, if we're looking up, and our focus is on Him, 
then we then then we will start being uh, being what what Christ was here in the earth, and and he was a uh, he reconciled people. He reconciled the lost to God. He knew that his time was drawing near. My time here may be drawing near on this earth. And it's my job to help reconcile lost souls back into relationship, to bring bring lost souls into relationship with God. And I want to use every platform that God blesses me with to do, to do that. Uh, and I need to always be looking up and that's where my focus needs to always be because I, I, was, I was reminded as I thought about that when, when they, they, the two men of Galilee, when they came and said, well, you men of Galilee, why stand you gazing into the heavens? This same Jesus that you see going away is going to come back in like manner. They were looking up. They were looking up, ready for him to come back. They, they, they were watching him go away, not realizing that he's going to return in the same way. Do we really realize that, that he's going to return someday? We need to be ready. We got to be ready for that. See, in, in John chapter 14, verse 1, it says, Let not your heart be, this is red letters. This is Jesus talking. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. So this is Jesus telling us, be ready because he's going to wait right now to prepare a place for us. But he's going to be coming again. So when you see that, I pray my prayers, when you see that logo, when you see our video, that this is not just about coon hunting as much as we enjoy that. As much as we enjoy that, uh, as much as we enjoy coon hunting, this is, this is not just about... When you see that always looking up, it's not just about shining a tree and looking for looking for uh, looking for the eyes to see if your dog's got the meat. That's not what all this is about. It's about so much more than that. So I want to do more. If I'm going to have a platform and people's going to watch and people's going to pay attention to the videos, I want to glorify God with every opportunity that I have. If I believe that dog, when that dog runs and it runs, it may run three miles. If that dog starts barking up a tree. And, and and he and that dog firmly believes and lets me know that there's a coon up in that tree. I'm going to walk through the creek. I'm going to climb mountains. I'm going to slip. I'm going to fall. I'm going to I'm going to do all these different things because I believe what that dog is saying. And 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 as you you can see in these videos, my dog lies a lot. My dog lies a lot. There's there's a lot of times I look up in that tree and I don't find what he says is up there. But this says that Jesus is coming back. It says he's coming back for a people that are ready, that are prepared, and that he's going to prepare a place for us. So if I'm going to believe that dog, if I'm going to believe what any man, what any man would say, the Bible would say, uh, that let, let every man be a, be a liar, that every man's a liar, that God, and Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. So if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, Start believing what this word says. If you're going to believe in dogs, man, we can believe this. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you come to know him that way. If you don't know how to come to know him that way, all you do is believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and be baptized. And, and that, that's all it takes. We don't have to overcomplicate this thing. But I can't, I can't just keep having this platform without letting you know that God loves you, that he sent his son Jesus to die for you, and, uh, and that there is, there is an eternity that we're going to be spending somewhere. Children of God, if you are a Christian, always be looking up. Always be ready. And when you, you see the signs change and it looks like it's not going to be very far before he comes back and gets us, that should give us an unction and a desire to be about the Father's business and tell other people about Jesus so that they can start looking up too. It's time for us to be ready. I hope. I hope and pray that when you watch these videos, it's not just all about the coon hunt, man. I, we enjoy spending time with each other. Me, I enjoy spending time out in the hills with, the, uh, with my family, with my boys, with my cousins that you'll see on these videos sometimes. Uh, I love spending time with them. Uh, and that's what coon hunting is, is mostly about to me. Uh, so I thank you all. It, to the ones who stuck through and watched, uh, watched this little portion, Man, I appreciate it. I hope you get something out of it. And I also want to say, if anybody, if you have any prayer requests, something you want uh, want me to be praying about, message me, comment, comment on this video, because I promise you that me and my bunch will take that seriously, and we will lift your name up. We will lift that prayer request up up to God. Uh, and I and I'm thankful. Uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity I'm given, been given here. 
And uh, I, I pray that you all enjoy. I, I hope that you all enjoy us just goofing off. Sometimes it's not tree and coons, and that's okay. I hope you all enjoy it. And while I got a second here, just to kind of change pace, I want to take just a second to thank, uh, thank our sponsor, Nightlife Kennel. If you all need anything at all for coon hunting, if you need anything at all, go to nightlifekennel.com. And Nick will have, and we'll get what you need, and he'll make sure to hook you up. Great guy, and also go listen to the podcast, Nightlife Nation podcast. If you haven't listened to that, go li watch Nightlife Kennels videos on YouTube. Great videos, educational videos. Great guys, NightlifeKennel.com. All right, here we go, Muncie Outdoors. We appreciate you all watching. Getting ready to turn these dogs loose. Got them strapped to the truck right now, so you all ready to go tonight, boys? Yeah, yeah. man. Hopefully, we've had a little bit of rain. It's been really dry, and we know it's a little hard for dogs to stay on the track when it's when it's real dry like that. We've had a little bit of rain, and been looking forward to going all night. So, hopefully, we can get up here and get on one. We'll let you know. Cut him. Let him go. Off to the races. Stay gone. Well, we turned the dogs loose. They went probably about a thousand yards. We've got two of them treed. That, that pup's still on her way out through her. We're trying to give her enough time to get out there before we start walking it. But um, hopefully uh, we got you a coon. Oh man, nice Get him, son. Good boy, man. We just got back to the truck. Dogs got in there probably well they've a little over half a mile. We uh we were able to drive within what was we Bri? About seven hundred yards right around it. Yeah, I'll say 800. We, somewhere in there, seven, 800 yards, we drove from them. Uh, walked in there, big den tree. You'll see, you've already seen it in the video. Uh, but I believe we figured out, I believe I figured out what's wrong with them. We ain't done nothing but den trees. I'm afraid our dog's got coronavirus and they've lost their sense of smell. So that, that's what we're going to go with until we start training coons again, then we'll know they're better. So. I guess we're gonna try one more anyway. See if this, uh, see if this next turnout might be the cure for it. Well, we turned them out. They ended up running about a mile and a half up in this holler. Luckily, there was a road that where we could drive pretty much all the way up here to them. We got them at 240 yards right now. They're still working on that track. They're up on the hill. Just a little bit, you might be able to hear them. They might have one, they might not. The way our luck's been rolling, probably not. <laughs> yeah, they just over right over the hill from us here right now. But man, if they didn't, They've worked this one up. They, they definitely deserve this one. They've ran probably about four or five miles on this track, ain't they, Josh? Yeah, the last I looked, uh, Nitro was right at three miles. Which, for the longest part of it, they was on, in a foot race with one another, and they finally hit the ridge and quit doing that. and hit. So hopefully we'll uh, be able to tree this one here. Yeah, hopefully they fall tree right here over the hill from us. Thank God. Got one tree right there. <laughs> he popped up a little bit. Uh, Uh, 
or we might have one freed right here for you shortly. Yep, we'll keep watching and let you know. What? Just waiting on you. What? You ready? Yeah. Oh dang, you're recording. Yep, I'm ready to record. Me and uh, me, me and Bryce sitting here in the truck waiting on Channing. We got nitro in the box. Channing is trying to round Max up. Uh, he don't have him tone break. Yep, Max is, he's not real good tone broke. Sometimes you can holler at him, he'll come back, and sometimes he won't, but uh, every dog's every dog's a little different. Uh, one thing about Max is as long as you let him hunt, he's going to keep hunting, and uh, and that's what he's doing, and Channing's trying to chase him down right now, and me and Bryce getting ready to probably have to leave here in a minute. It's about midnight. I got to work. Got to work in the morning, so. I uh, get too. Peyton had uh Peyton had a ball practice, so he couldn't come to that. So hopefully, hopefully the next video, Peyton gets to be here. He's probably our best commentator. He's yeah, probably I don't the best. Talk much, man. No, Bri, Bri don't really like to talk too much. So, and I'm not crazy about it. Channing, uh, Channing likes to talk a little bit. Peyton likes to talk a lot. So, uh, they, they work out a little better than what we do as far as doing this goes. But uh, we've only had a couple turnouts. One first turnout. Uh, you you've already seen that when it went up to big either they something in there or they wouldn't we never seen anything it was either a big hole in a tree could have been a den tree probably was uh and, and i guess that's why that's what we like to call them we like to say it's a den tree whether it was or not so that's what we're going to go with uh come up here man they've ran for miles like eight right f probably five or six miles just mm -hmm. ran we should have brought them back a long time ago honestly but I guess, uh, I guess with us, you're gonna see the good, you're gonna see the bad, you're gonna see the ugly. Most gonna uh, see the ugly. So far, so far, most of us gonna be ugly. If you never watch another video, I, I wouldn't blame you. Uh, uh, but if you do, we pr we appreciate it anyway. We're gonna have a good time anyway, ain't we, bud? Yeah, even though we don't get one every time. Nope, still we ain't fun. gonna get one every time. That's all right. We enjoy we enjoy coming out here and listening to the dogs bark, whether they know what they're barking at or not. We enjoy listening to them do it, and. Uh, and we enjoy spending time together, so we're going to get out here and see if we can't uh, listen for Channing trying to holler for his dog here for a minute. So, until next time.